Part one today of turning our abstract circles into Georgia O'Keeffe inspired flowers is to begin by cutting them out. So with your scissors, go ahead and cut as neatly as you can kind of on your pencil line so we get two nicely cut circles. Next, we're gonna take our circles and we are going to fold them so we can create radial symmetry when cutting kind of our petal and flower shape designs. So with your smaller circle, circle, we're gonna fold it into sixths. When you fold this, you want your color to be on the inside, so you should be able to see the white kind of outside. So to start with sixths, you're going to fold it in half so it kind of looks like a semicircle. And with this project, it's going to be extremely important that you crease or kind of smooth your fold very well to make the cutting part easier. So I take the back of my thumbnail, but you gotta really smooth out that fold so it's nice and crisp. To make the next part, it's kind of like when we did the paper snowflakes, you wanna fold this up, and before you crease it, you basically want these two little slices to look about equal. So if I go like this, that one's really skinny, that one's kinda of big, I wanna make them look as equal as I can, and if it's not perfect, it's okay. But that one looks pretty good, so I'll put it on the table take the back of my thumb and really smooth that fold. And then I like to take this kind of back side and I bend it backwards. And again, it's not perfect and that is okay. Take my finger and really smooth out that fold. So I have six parts. And I'm gonna set that one to the side. For my bigger circle, I want to fold it into eighths gonna get tricky because this paper is kind of thick and it's gonna get a little bit hard to fold at the end but eighths are a little bit easier you're gonna start by folding your circle in half again it's not gonna be perfect get it lined up as best as you can and to me where it's at is your creasing so that's pretty good it's kind of flat but you can see how over here it kind of looks rounded I want it to be nice and crisp so I'm gonna take that thumbnail and kind of just slide it along my crease to make sure it's nice and flat next we'll fold this in half Again, so now I have fourth, so I'm gonna take my finger, have to really smooth out that crease to make it nice and flat. And then I have four slices right now, so I'm just gonna fold it in half one more time. This is gonna be tricky because your paper is getting very thick at this point. So I'm gonna kind of use my fingers to kind of get that to be the way I want it to be and use the table to help you fold. So once I kind of have it lined up, then I push it down and I use my finger to really smooth out that fold. So I have eighths and I have sixths. 